I will give you three instances. It's up to you if you want to speak on one, two, three or none at all. Um, there's one in which this year you got irritated by one reporter and said, I'll speak to your owners. Uh, I was not a reporter, firstly. Uh -huh. um, very clear. Somebody positioned themselves. So every time I go to a meet, there's this new, uh, I think some bright child in, stringer, in the Congress think, party. Huh? No, not a stringer as well. The publication, in fact, gave out that this is fake. Hai. Hmm. So, somebody is always positioned to video record me. Always. And I know it as a political fact. Hmm. And my organization locally also knows it. That koi na koi aise diya jayega jo reports back to the local congress ki didi ne aaj ye kiya, ye kiya, ye kiya. Snip chat, everything will happen. So, some kid was put up to say, aap ko aise kara, mein ka, aap patrakar hoon, aap baat nahi I knew he's not a patrakar, firstly. Hmm. He claimed to be from a newspaper. I, I know 550 journalists who are there only in the district of Amethi. I know each of them by name. Hmm. I know each one's beat, including if they're running a YouTube channel. So I know that kid who's talking to me is not an officiating patrakar of one of the biggest Hindi newspapers in the country. So I said, Aap hai? Nahi baat ho gai. Main hoon, main hoon, main hoon. Finally said, Thik hai, aap hai na? Main aapke malik se baat karte hai. Thik hai? What was his position for he was misbehaving with a woman when the cameras were not rolling and I told him don't misbehave with this girl I have five assembly segments one is Salon Salon is in district Raibareli but Lok Sabha meet it's one of hmm. those unique he said haa Salon ki hai to kya hua I said kahi ki bhi ho don't misbehave with her and I walked off that's when he said chalo mein aapse sawal pooshna hon so I knew it was a fake guy the newspaper tweeted this guy is fake. Which people said you probably Why would a twisted. newspaper say that it's fake when you can easily find out whether somebody's on the roll or not? Hmm. Let's presume that I'm such a big persona that everybody will succumb to my will. Why would a old newspaper hit their own credibility by lying? A lie which you can find out because everybody has a salary slip. Hmm. Then somebody bright enough said, Iska abhinandan karte. Man, chalo, iski life to set ho gai. Kisi ko laga hoga ki chalo, ye political tool ban They jai. left liberal media which will get a job. Which is fine. Okay. As long as I'm eating, I'm going to get a job. 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 Okay. The second one was when uh, Sudhir Chaudhary at that conclave, he asked you about the menu in your home or Rasoi mein kya pakta. He was talking about tomato prizes, if I'm not mistaken. And that. Mr. Chaudhary was somebody who was a part of an organization where he was senior in hierarchy. Now, I'm uh, crazy enough at times to defer to those old school ways of engagement where I will call you sir if I've mm. ever worked with you. Hmm. or if you're chronologically older than I am. Hmm. But that does not give you the right to kind of cross certain boundaries. It was not about tomatoes. It was about <laughs> flying kiss kiya tha. You would never ask that to any other female politician. You would not ask of it from a Miss Vadra or Miss Sule or Kavita. Hmm. That was the line that was crossed. Hmm. So you want to interview me on issues where there is public value to a policy, a controversy because of a challenge that people at large have to face or something, let's say, you think that the government has not done right, which is fine. Hmm. But if you think that you'll stand there, sit with me, because I've called you, sir, and I'm saying this today publicly, this is not a political price I'm willing to pay. Hmm. Just so that I can... <laughs> nahi, sir, I can't do that. Because if you do that to me and reduce me while I'm in office, can you imagine what you do to other women? None of my conversations with any journalist have tried to reduce me as a woman. But was it that, uh, Smriti, or yes. was it just being lighthearted? Would you, would you be lighthearted? This is an issue on which... Why would you ask me that? Would you ask that of, let's say, Miss Sule or Kavita or anybody? Why would I have to answer for what a man did? Hmm. It was Mr. Gandhi's overtures Because you Parliament. spoke about it in Parliament. Doesn't right? matter. So, so did 20 other people. Shobha spoke about it. Other female politicians spoke about it. Hmm. But Shobha ji never comes on television. <laughs> she does. That's another issue altogether. Huh. But the issue is, what was the program about? The program was about G20. Policy. It was not about G-Tamatar. Hmm. Hmm. So let's say you want to talk Tamatar. 
it was not about somebody giving flying kiss to somebody in parliament it had nothing to do with it hmm you thought that you will get this glorious headline i'm going to talk about the third incident uh, another colleague of uh, mine uh, now she had a a quarrel with you at one point of time and Which then one? she wrote an open letter barkha wrote an open letter and she, she said wrote you, an open letter mm, it okay, came on no ndtv idea. where she Which? wrote an open letter where she says that uh, you know you weighed that smriti rani um, you know uh, wades into quarrels where and she craves and she seeks as somebody who's fights. a number one star in indian that television time, when she interviewed anything when she interviewed you that yeah. was that chai pe charcha i think what happens is that hmm. some people presume that they are legend so they'll get away with any crap i mean hmm. uh some people presume that they are legends in the corridors of power and they've been movers and fixers and power brokers so people like us will be beholden to them now if she has written such a letter i didn't know of such a letter um i think it would be dichotomous as a position because she would text me as though you know she is some great friend she was in ndtv then doesn't she matter. done that Don't, interview i think that you were very uh, your constitution combative. as in, both of you were very combative i mean she okay. was okay i mean you should ha huh. get as good as you give so if you're becoming suddenly this abla nari because you thought that i gave it too much is it's a bit but she's never the abla nari that's why i'm wondering why she's written an open huh. letter i have no idea I've in in fact in that she does say the issue is that when you say why did you wade into a controversy what did you think you'll slap me around and i'll say han ji please ek aur nahi <laughs> no that everybody i guess knows that you're not going to do maybe that maybe she didn't know then No, you everybody knew about you. No, I then. think they were still discovering that. I guess you uh, whack me about, I'll hit back, hmm. and I'll then hit back, and I'll hit back, and I'll hit back, till you decide not to whack me anymore. There is a price to pay for being so blase and for being in your face. You I'm are super denied. blunt, blase, and you're proud of it. There is no other way of living life. There is no. No, that's a coward's way of living. Click here to watch the full episode.